Today, I am very excited to be launching a brand new series that I'm calling Learn to Love. The idea behind this series is simple. I wanna show you how to learn to love some veggies that may not be that easy to love, like beets and cauliflower and eggplant. And today, in honor of our first episode, I'm going to show you how to learn to love the most loathed vegetable in all of North America, Brussels sprouts. As I'm sure you've heard, these little green beauties are amazing for your health. They're high in vitamin C and vitamin K, they've got lots of folate and lots of fiber, they can lower cholesterol, they can help fight cancer, and they can even repair DNA. But the fact is, most people don't think they taste very good. So I wanna to prove to you that they can be as delicious as they are nutritious. And I'm gonna do that by showing you Tasty Brussels Sprouts, Three Delicious Ways. We're gonna start with our oven roasted Brussels sprouts and then do some tasty pan roasted Brussels sprouts with bacon. And then finally, I'm going to show you a hot Brussels sprout salad with pecans, cranberries, and blue cheese. Let's get started by trimming our Brussels sprouts. All we wanna do is remove any brown or damaged leaves from the outside of the sprout. So now all we're gonna do is just take off the end of the sprout. And I like to cut my sprouts in half. Totally an optional step. Once they're all trimmed up, we're gonna give them a good rinse under some cold running water and they are ready to cook with. We're getting started today with our oven roasted Brussels sprouts. So in a large bowl, I am just taking some Brussels sprouts and I'm going to drizzle them with some olive oil. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a heaping helping of pepper and then give them a really good stir. I'm gonna pour them onto a baking sheet and bake them in the oven at 400 degrees for between 20 and 30 minutes. Once they're done, I'm going to pull them out and toss them in just a little bit of balsamic vinegar. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Your Brussels sprouts are soft and delicious and ready to eat. Next up, I wanna show you my pan-roasted Brussels sprouts with bacon. Now, if you don't eat bacon, don't worry. You can do the very same thing with a little bit of butter or some olive oil. It's totally up to you. So I have a frying pan heating up on the stove and I am just gonna cook off some chopped bacon. Once the bacon's cooked, you remove it from the pan with a slotted spoon and set it aside. Next, I'm going to use the bacon fat to cook the rest of my ingredients. So I'm going to add some red onions and let them saute for a minute or two, just until they begin to soften. Next, I'm going to add my Brussels sprouts, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then allow them to cook for two or three minutes or until they begin to caramelize. I'm gonna deglaze the pan with a little bit of vegetable stock, and then I'm gonna turn my heat down to low and put the lid on and let these beauties cook for five to seven minutes. Take a little peek. Once our vegetable stock has evaporated, we're gonna add our bacon back into the pan and give it a really good stir. And that's it. These guys are ready to eat. And finally, if I haven't made you a believer already, I'm gonna show you my hot Brussels spread salad with cranberries, pecans, and blue cheese. Now, if you're not into blue cheese, don't sweat it. You can totally replace it with some goat cheese or a little bit of feta. So let's get started at our stove. I've got some butter heating up in a frying pan. You could also do this with olive oil, but I find butter just adds a really nice flavor to the Brussels sprouts. Once your butter's melted, you're gonna add your Brussels sprouts to the pan with a little bit of salt and pepper. You wanna toss it really well to coat all of your Brussels sprouts, and then you're gonna turn your heat down to medium and put the lid on. You'll know they're ready when they are fork tender. Bright green and ready to go. Now that our Brussels sprouts are cooked, we're gonna create just a really simple dressing for them by mixing some balsamic vinegar with a little bit of honey. This adds a really nice sweetness to our final dish. We're gonna pour this over our Brussels sprouts and then top them with some toasted pecans, some dried cranberries, and finally, some crumbled blue cheese. We're gonna give it a good stir and it is ready to eat. It makes for the perfect side dish, or hey, it could also be the main event. I really hope these three recipes have changed your mind about this misunderstood vegetable and that you'll give them a try at home. And if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchen. And if there are any vegetables that you'd like to learn to love, leave them for me in the comment section below and I'll try to cover them in a future episode. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from.